Coming up next. Stay tuned to learn more about the state of the art in blockchain and cryptocurrency technology. Reimagine 2020. back. My name is Tyler Olson. I am the University Program Director here at Mouse Belt, also one of your hosts for Reimagine 2020. I am here with Francesco Palamietti, who's at Prague College. Prague College is a recent addition to the Mouse Belt repository of institutions that we like to give support to and stay in contact with. Francesco, you want to Introduce yourself. Yeah, hello, hi everybody. Uh, I'm Francesco Palmieri. I'm 24 years old and uh, I study at Prague College. I'm doing my master in international management at Prague College. And um, at the same time, I'm, uh, I work as a financial analyst at Coca-Cola, always in Prague. And um, yeah, I mean, um, I got interested in um, blockchain and cryptocurrencies, uh, I think some, some months ago, four or five months ago, uh, thanks to Bruce, that is my professor at the Prague College, he's teaching uh, some subject related with finance. And uh, over some discussion we were having together, uh, we were talking about uh, new technologies, uh, big data, and uh, he started to, talk, uh, to, to introduce me to, to the blockchain. And so I started reading some books, attending some conferences and uh, getting always a bit more interested in, the, in this field. That, uh, I mean, reading, uh, listening and getting into it, I, I, I truly believe that uh, is the, might be the future of our lives and uh, that's what intrigues me the most and uh, i'm uh, i cannot i mean my background is not the from the the point the perspective of uh, the the creating the the coding i don't have a coding and um, uh, such a background but uh, i'm interested in uh, in this field and uh, I would like to, to realize some projects in this field. I would like to work definitely in this field. And uh, I mean, at, uh, my, my perspective is that I want to, to have some time in the, let's say in the 2020 to, to, to build up my knowledge and my a very strong base and then explore even better this world. Yeah, um, how do things look in the general region that you're in? I mean, like, I guess there's one question where we could ask, um, how does, you know, blockchain and uh, cryptocurrency look and feel in Europe? You know, are people like receptive to it? Um, are you aware of a lot of people working in the industry and trying to, you know, integrate it into things like supply chain or anything like that. I mean, like, what does it look like in uh, Europe overall? And I guess more specifically, um, what's going on in Prague? Uh, look, I, I have the feeling that uh, it, it start something, some movement is starting, some integration is starting, some awareness is starting, but uh, still is not something that... Uh, it's fully integrated uh, in our in our lives and uh, i mean i have this feeling still that uh, is something very new and uh, it's it becoming to be um oh it it become it, it it it's starting to be in uh, slowly in our lives but uh, if i have the feeling that if you are interested in these things you cannot get involved in in, in a project uh, and uh, increase your awareness. Otherwise, it's still something that uh, is not very spread around. I have this feeling. 
Uh, well, I mean, for sure, in 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 the in the Czech Republic, in Europe, of course, something else is moving a bit faster, but not as fast as, for example, in Italy, where I'm from, uh, things are. I mean, there are some experts, but not as many as uh, this field requires because it's a very important field. Is uh, something that is going very fast, and uh, I think uh, there should be more awareness around. Right. And, you know, that's in large part how we came onto the scene. You know, we, um, you know, some of us, uh, like, you know, we've sort of have some people that have, um, have had their feet planted in the world of academia, you know, um, myself and Ashley, for example, we've been in academia for some time. We go back, that's how we met. We, um, you know, um, professors of uh, philosophy at these institutions or these kinds of institutions. Um, and then we have people working in tech and uh, our sort of um, philosophical interests in blockchain and, you know, um, cryptocurrencies and our sort of affiliation with our tech friends. You know, it all just kind of made sense that we landed together. But then how Mousebelt University specifically kind of came on was we noticed that there was a lack of education around this. And um, we noticed a lot of what you were just pointing out, um, specifically the sense in which everything here is moving much faster than, you know, big institutions that have all these bureaucratic hoops and, you know, they're all stuck in, right, you know, the sort of um, traditional academy is in a lot of ways stuck and sort of hindered by its own. Um, yeah. its own um, traditional habits, if you will, right? Definitely. And so the, it's a, you see that because it's moving so fast and because those types of institutions are sort of barred from certain kinds of movement given the sort of, you know, bureaucratic nature of, um, I guess, how they operate, they're unable to pick up you know it's like too slow they have to do peer review and sort of yeah. give the due diligence and so what i'm getting at here is that there's a lot of um there's a lot of demand but there's not a quick enough turnaround time yeah definitely i completely agree with you and so i guess that brings me to my next question um what does it look like at prague i know that uh, you and your professor um who uh, reached out to us a couple months ago, wanted to get an organization off the ground, right? And he's trying to maybe integrate some sort of blockchain lessons into his discussions about fintech and yeah. things like that. Maybe you can tell me a little bit about um, what you're doing at Prague with the club. You know, how are y'all trying to facilitate more conversation around cryptocurrency and blockchain? Yeah, definitely. Look, uh, I know that um, I'm doing my master and uh, I know that there is one full course in uh, in the bachelor that is holding that is dedicated to fintech and uh, many, um, many classes are lessons are related with blockchain and fintech technologies. And that's for sure something that uh, is very important because it starts to, to create the basis for the, the people that are studying and uh, they are approaching uh, quicker and uh, in a softer way to, to this world that uh, is not as easy. I mean, it's, it's complex. Maybe even this is one of the reasons why uh, the, the awareness is not spreading so much around. And uh, with this club, I mean, Bruce, uh, my professor, decided to create this club and um, for, for the moment, it was just created. But uh, the aim of this club, I believe, is to, to spread awareness for sure and uh, to try to, to, to work on projects together and to, to, to process uh, blockchain project and create awareness and create, uh, let's say, knowledge that can help us to to navigate better in this new world and why not to, to have ideas to put in place. Uh, I mean, he's very open, he's, in a, he's a very open person, so he gives us advice. Um, 
what to study, what to read, what which courses to follow. And for the moment, it's still something very raw, I would say. I mean, we it was just created, but I think uh, that uh, the guidelines are defined and is very into that as well. He has a wide experience and he's able to 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 navigate us on the on the on the things that we we should focus on yeah so it's like you know he kind of has a little bit of the background there to provide some structure around it y'all may have more of the knowledge um but then the rest of it is just kind of improvising and you know figuring out yeah uh, really what's going on yeah and i think that's great you know the only way to sort of get where you're trying to go is to start getting there right you have to just start moving um so yeah that's great to hear that y'all are uh taking some initiative there at Prague college to spread the gospel as it were um we're starting to run out of time so i want to pose this question to you that we've been posing to everybody else that we're talking to and it has to do with the future you know a lot of the talk around cryptocurrency and blockchain is always future oriented. You know, we're always trying to imagine a better and brighter future. And, um, you know, we like to think that our moral compasses lead us to invest in those things that we think um, are going to ensure a better world in some respect or other. Right. Yeah. Um, so I think it's an opportune time in the blockchain and cryptocurrency community amidst all of the wildness that is 2020 so far to ask how do you want to reimagine 2020 or maybe i could frame it another way how do you see things unfolding after 2020 and what does blockchain and um, cryptocurrencies have to do with that one kind of final thought there on um yeah um i i i mean i think this might be the answer by many people but who i believe i heavily believe in blockchain so i hope that it can facilitate drastically our life take out bureaucracy and uh, give the people possibility to to be more creative and reinvent themselves uh, in a new in a new world in more technological world uh, with much less bureaucracy and uh, easier i would say wonderful well francesco thank you so much for joining me and thank you for you know going on this journey with us as we reimagine 2020. Um, I wish you the best for the rest of 2020. Thank I you. wish Prague College and y'all's blockchain organization that is just now in the works the best. Reach out to us anytime. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. Have a good day. Stay tuned to learn more about the state of blockchain education at major universities all around the world. Reimagine 2020.